In this video, I'm going to discuss about drainage patterns. So, drainage patterns mean spatial arrangement and form of drainage systems in terms of geometrical shapes in the areas of different rock types, geological structure, and climatic conditions and denudational history. So, different rock type, geological structure, climatic conditions, and denudation of that particular place. So, which all these factors affect the drainage pattern of a particular river and a river basin factors affect the flow of streams are nature of slope structure and the lithological characteristics and tectonic factors of vegetations and climatic conditions all these factors affect the flow of the stream these factors can affect the flow of the stream which the uh, these factors can aid in the flow of the stream the the stream can follow the same path and or else it can divert the path because of some of the disturbances of these factors Drainage patterns of some regions may be similar but not the same, but some characteristics help us to differentiate them. Drainage pattern, and broadly we can classify a river, a river base, rivers into concordant, concordant, pat, uh, concordant rivers and discordant rivers. Whereas the concordant river, the path of the river is dependent upon the slope of the river and the topography. So depending upon the slope of the river and the topography, the path of the river follows so the the river follows the path but these it has many types many types of rivers or concordant rivers example consequent subsequent release angular rectangular radial and annular centripetal and parallel and barbed rivers so these are all concordant rivers whereas discordant rivers these rivers follows its initial path irrespective of the changes in topography so if any changes occurs during the flow suppose the river is flowing in this direction suppose any upliftment is there but still it still it cuts that up uh, it, it is it erodes those upliftmented region but it follows the same path so this river follows the initial path irrespective of the changes in topography whereas here if slope in which direction the slope is there so in that direction it follows the river and the path of the river also follows and types so it has two types one is antecedent rivers the other one is superimposed rivers so the antecedent rivers cut through the newly formed landform and maintain the same path whereas the superimposed rivers cut deeper through the existing landform and maintain the same path and the example the rivers of peninsula rivers whereas for antecedent rivers example is himalayas types so broadly we can classify them into ten major types so they are trellis pattern dendritic pattern rectangular pattern parallel pattern radial or centrifugal pattern centripetal pattern annular pattern barbed pattern inter indeterminate pattern and herringbone pattern and pinnate pattern so we can classify broadly so like this we can classify them and first one is trellis drainage pattern so trellis drainage patterns pattern we can see here the image the how the river uh, the river flows between these here the uplifted land masses are there but it is flowing so this is a consequent river but whereas here another consequent is coming and joining it at the right angle so occurs where a sub parallel streams erode a valley along the strikes of less resistant formations so here this is the resistant formation but here the rocks are resist uh, not it's a weak rocks so that it can easily erode and it joins at this consequent uh, joins this consequent river at right angle may be part of fault system with steep dipping tributaries intersect at right angles and form a network of longitudinal and transverse system so here the parallel river is flowing but here it is a weak landmass so that easily it can erode and it can join this river so main stream is known as master sense consequence so this is the master consequent but this is the lateral consequent which is a tributary so here these rivers are closely spaced so next one is drainage pattern this is a tree shaped pattern so occurs when the tributary system subdivides headway likes the branches of a tree so here the main branch is there but here the tributaries we can see like that the, the how the roots and the branches of the trees are there like that they are branching so it appears like a tree that's why we call it as tree shaped pattern and occurs when the tributary system divides headway like the branches of a tree these patterns usually form in horizontal sedimentary or intrusive igneous rocks and where rock mass is homogeneous rock mass 
so if it is a similar kind of rock mass the rock mass is there then the drainage dendritic drainage pattern will form and these patterns it is in the beginning it is open and will be later it becomes a closed and at the end of the at the end of the, and the, at the end it becomes a simplified due to surface abstraction as the tributaries integrate with active river capture so here be, in the beginning it is a open system like it's, it's like a broad it's very broad like this and as it goes as the time passes because the river capture increases it becomes very close and it becomes very close and it becomes very simplified as the river capture increases in it and these tributaries also integrate so um, so when these tributaries tributaries joins together and it forms a simplified pattern so next one is rectangular drainage pattern so rectangular drainage pattern we can it resemble like a trellis trellis drainage pattern but this pattern in which tributaries join master stream in determined by lines of weaknesses like folds, falls and joins so has widely spaced tributaries whereas in trill, tribu, uh, trellis drainage pattern these tributaries are closely spaced tributaries this pattern develops in regions where rock joins form rectangular pattern so here we can see this this is a main river main tributary main river but the tributaries are joining like this so main river the tributary is joining but it is the spacing is more the widely spaced tributary rivers and it forms a rectangular shape the rectangular shape of river rectangular it forms a rectangular pattern and due to weathering many rills are formed and develop into a small channels and forms a network tributaries and forms a network so this forms a, it forms a network kind of pattern and tributaries join master stream almost at the right angle so even in the trellis trellis pattern the tributary will join the master stream at the right angle here also it joins at the most right angle at the right angle next one is radial drainage pattern so radial drainage pattern we can see here this is the hill slope so hill slope here the river is originating but originating but it is flowing in all the directions so it is flowing in all the direction this is the center point where the river originates but it is flowing in all the direction it's flowing outward like this so it is flowing from the center it is flowing outward direction so it is called as radial drainage pattern so this is also known as a centri centrifugal pattern formed by the streams which diverge from a central higher point in all directions it is it, is, it usually forms in the isolated upland this isolated upland favors the development of radial drainage pattern like volcanic domes buttes and mesas streams emerge at the central point of the upland relief features and stream follow their slopes so depend it for the streams follow their slopes and so they are consequent streams so next one is centripetal drainage pattern so this is these are also known as inland drainage pattern here this is opposite to the radial pattern so radial pattern it was uh, emerging in a central point and it was diverging whereas it here it converges so here the surrounding regions are upland region here the the uh, river river emerges originates and it flows to towards a central point it towards it towards it form it flows towards the central point and here it accumulates so stream emerge from surrounding upland areas these flow down to converge in a central low land which may be a depression or basin or a crater lake this pattern is formed by series of streams so here we can see that it is converging because the surrounded area is a upland area but it is converging to a low land next one is annular drainage pattern known as circular drainage pattern so this is a, it is a circular in shape so we can see that it is a circular in shape and developed over mature and dissected dome mountains which has series of alternate bands of hard and soft rocks beds so differential erosion helps in uh, and form the formation of annular drainage pattern so because of the differential erosion this differential erosion produces a ring belted structure hard bed project outward whereas the soft bed which which flow in the soft bed a circular clefts are formed so here there are two differences are there uh, hard bed hard so it's projecting outside so this hard bed projecting outside whereas the soft bed it, it forms a cliff in the clefts so in the clefts the rivers flow because of the erosion because there is differences between the erosion of a hard bed and the soft bed and master stream develop on dome and 
and radiate in all directions but tributaries develop at cleft and join the master stream so master stream so on the dome the master stream originates and it is flowing in all the direction whereas on the cliffs so he said this is a cliff and here the tributaries and they join the master stream here so next one is barb drainage system so it is a rare kind of drainage pattern the confluence of a tributary with the main river is characterized by discordant junction so this is a discordant junction so here this is a special drainage pattern and tributaries join the master streams in a hook shaped bend so here we can see this is a hook shaped bend is there so here the tri uh, tributaries join and this pattern is the result of capture of the main river with com which completely reverses the directions of flow while the tributaries continue to point in the direction of a former flow so here we can see the river is flowing like this so the tributary is flowing like this in the same direction whereas in this image we can see that the river flow is just opposite to the top image so the though the tributary is flowing in the same direction but the main river is flowing in the opposite opposite direction this is a barbed drainage system next one is pinnate drainage pattern so in pinnate pattern it is developed in a narrow valley flanked by steep ranges so the tributary is originating from the steep sides of parallel ridges and join the longitudinal masters consequent occupying the valley at acute angles so and this pattern of drainage network resembles the veins of a leaf so uh, how the veins of the leaves are there so like that this this has a uh, this has a diverge pattern like this like the way so and these are developed from the steep sides of the parallel ridges join the longitudinal master so this is the master river here the tributaries joins like the veins of the rivers so this is a pinnate drainage system so next one is herringbone drainage pattern so here the herringbone we said here in this image we can see this is the master consequent river whereas here the tributaries join like this like a rib rib pattern so this is developed in mountainous region where broad valleys are flanked by parallel ridges having steep sided slopes so this is say this is a uh, high uh, this is a mountain mountain region broad valleys broad valleys is broad valley is there so here the the main river is flowing but in the slopes the the tributaries flow down like this and they join the master consequent master consequent are developed in longitudinal parallel valleys tributaries originate from the hill slopes of the bordering parallel ridges join master streams at a right angle so these also these tributaries tributaries also join the master stream at right angle term herring bone is derived from herring fish so the herring fish the spinal uh, the spine of the herring fish uh, herring fish herring fish looks like this so this because of that this pattern derived from this herring fish so we call this herring bone drainage pattern next one is parallel drainage pattern so in this parallel drainage pattern comprises of numerous rivers which are parallel to each other and follow the regional slope this pattern is developed on uniformly sloping and rock beds like newly emerged coastal plains so here this is a coastal plain we can see that so this is sea and this is a coastal plains here the parallelly the river is flowing like this towards the sea and streams are swift and straight with few tributaries all flow in the same direction so the rivers all the rivers are flowing towards the sea in the same direction